Lizette. I'm the Youth and Family Services Librarian here at the Altadena Libraries. And today I'm gonna be giving you a book recommendation. This is our first video of our video series, First Page Fridays, where I will be giving you a book recommendation every other Friday in June and July. These books will be new releases. That means that will be books that have been published during the month of June or July 2021. And they will be different genres and they'll either be chapter books or middle grade books. Today, I'm gonna be um, talking about a middle grade book. This book is called The Firebird Song, and it's by author Arnie Flores. This is her very first book that she's written, so it's her debut novel, and it is a fantasy fiction book. This book has themes of hidden heritage, princess power, and quests for magical items. The characters in these books are courageous. The storyline is full of action and moves really fast. The tone is hopeful and suspens suspenseful. And the writing style is really attention grabbing. So if you like books like The Serpent's Secret, Wings of Fire, or even Dragon Watch, this will be a perfect book for you. It's a read-alike book, which means that it's very similar to all these other books I've mentioned. So if you like those, you'll definitely like this book. Today, I'm going to be reading you the first two pages of this book so you get a better feel about what's going on in the story. And I also want to encourage you to check this book out on Cloud Library. All the books that I will be showing you during First Page Fridays will be accessible for free on Cloud Library using your library card. If you're not sure how to access Cloud library you can give us a call visit our website or you can also um, check out here on youtube our video on how to use cloud library and that will give you more information cloud library is completely free all you need is an altadena library card so with um all that said i'm going to be reading you the first two pages of the book the firebird song by arnie flores i hope you enjoy it chapter one Lirica was no place for questions, and certainly not one for answers, but Pruitt's curiosity was greater than his fear, and he couldn't stop the words from rushing out with a puff of breath in the dark. Gran Granny, Granny Arila, won't you tell me what happened that night? The night of the terrible thing? No one had ever told him the story before. He had caught fragments, frightened whispers that trailed off when he came near, but that was all. A golden feather, a terrible curse, a thief who had come in the night. But no matter how he prodded for details about the terrible thing, mouths promptly pressed shut and door slammed on his face. For a moment, he wasn't sure the old woman had heard, but finally she nodded. Yes, you should know. It's time. Pruitt gulped, biting his tongue to keep from shouting with excitement, afraid that any sound might change Granny Arila's mind. He moved eagerly forward, clinging to the words that creaked from her cracked lips as she began. The queen should have fled the castle. She might have been safe, but for some reason she chose to stay as did the king and all their guards and servants. In the end, there was nothing we could do but listen as their screams floated down to our hiding place in the cove. We watched the six seeking sailors make their way around the moon, the same path they had always taken on winter's longest night. But just as the sixth star reached its apex, the sky turned to smoke and swallowed the moon. It was darkness like we've never known. Our lungs filled with ash so thick, we could barely breathe. And we began the great, and we begged the great emperor to send his firebird to save us, but it did not come. People whispered that this must be what had been prophesied, the legendary warning of doom that no human ear had ever heard the one that had sent half the ancient spirits fleeing across the sea before the crown of pearls had settled on the first queen's head. Thunder boom, shaking the hut, and Granny Arila continued. When at last we came out from the cove, the world as we knew it was gone. Everything was gray and bleak, and nature was in chaos. A woman calling herself the Spectress, perched on the battlements, 
her face hidden behind a glittering veil. No one knew who she was. They only knew that somehow she had awoken the demon of fear and used its power to send monstrous ash, golems swelling from the castle fireplaces. In the end, the castle was littered with bodies, so charred that no one could tell queen from servant or king from guard. Pruitt's eyes widened. Shall I stop? He shook his head, afraid to speak, lest she change her mind. Most troubling in all were the words we found scrawled across the nursery wall in the queen's own hand. Wind, woman, thief. What do they mean? asked Pruitt. Granny Arila shook her head. No one knows. They had clearly been written in her last moments, a message, a warning perhaps. But before we could reach for more clues, the spectresses, mariners came and forced us from the castle. Lightning flash illuminated the dark room and the old woman shivered. I miss fire. You won't believe me, but fire was once a comfort. It blazed in our homes and down across the beach. We had candles in our windows and fireworks in our skies. Now look at us, afraid of the feeblest spark. Her teeth chattered and Pruitt jumped to his feet. I'll grab you more blankets. She waved at him. Nothing can warm these old bones anymore. Sit down. I have more to say and no more time. Pruitt hesitated. She had been keeping her company for nearly a week, holding her hand and watching her skin grow thin and translucent as she slowly disappeared. He knew she was right. Her time was running short. Granny Arila peered at him. Do you know why we're forgive, forbidden to speak of the old times? Why the spectress sent her martyrs to burn the books and cast the instruments into the sea? Why mistrels were tossed from the cliffs and singing became a terrible punishment by death? Pruitt frowned and shook his head. The old woman pressed a tremulous finger to her heart because she will do anything to keep us hopeless. Those are the first two pages of the story, the Firebird song. If you want to know why so much of these things are forbidden in the world of Lyrica and who is the spectress, you're going to have to read the book. So if you'd like to check it out, like I said, you could check it out at Cloud Library. Thanks for tuning in to First Page Fridays. I'm hoping that next week I can do this on a YouTube Live. That way, if you have any questions, I can respond to you while I'm reading. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. And you can check out more of these books and a whole um, list of these books that I'll be reading every single week on our Cloud Library page. Thank you for joining me. Once again, my name is Yvette. I'm the Youth and Family Services Librarian. And have a great day. Hope to see you next time here at First Page Fridays. Bye.